Continue to mourn two local students who died from heart-related emergencies. In tonight's Mental Health Matters, Marie Mortera learned healing will look different from child to child. A therapist explains how to offer support. My heart ached for her, of course. She's 16 years old, but a baby. Dr. Vina M. Wilson reacting to the sudden death of Ashari Hughes. Jordan Brister, another student dying of cardiac arrest just as classes return from winter break. Both tragedies leaving their fellow students grieving. What does the mourning process look like? There could be many manifestations, says the licensed clinical social worker who specializes in teen and family therapy. I would expect you to have a variety of emotional reactions, right? Like maybe numbness, confusion, sadness, grief. Um, I could imagine someone who has gone through something traumatic before that seeing something traumatic like that could then bring up their own loss history or trauma history. In such a sensitive time, emotional and mental support is needed. Her advice for families? I would encourage parents to talk to their child. You know, find out how well did you know the young lady that passed away? Um, what do you think about what happened? How are you feeling in light of this tragedy? A powerful conversation for now and the future. Wilson tells me a growing awareness around mental health leaves her optimistic about 2023. Continued conversation about building awareness so we can help our children be more resilient and um, even more so protected and supported. Marie Mortera, News 3.